Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to another week of breakfast and school lunch ideas. So today, Hayden was just going to have a simple lunch today. Um, that little attitude is on, and I don't know what she's in the mood for. So I just decided to make like a little lunch bowl here. She's just going to have some sliced up beef sticks, um, a cheese stick. I've just put in some regular white saltine crackers. Here she's going to have rasp raspberries and kiwi also she's going to have a gogurt here um for a little sweet treat hopefully her mood gets better she's going to have some gummy bears and a capri sun her attitude is on the 10 because yesterday was no school so for monday you will not see lunch because it was we was reserving civil rights day martin luther king day she thought she had a whole nother day, honey, and yeah, that attitude is just on 100 this morning. <laughs> so that is it for her lunch. Let me show you guys her breakfast. So breakfast, we're going to have a simple just some Cheerios with a few little raspberries, a Nutella toast, and some milk. And that is her simple breakfast for this morning. Okay, y'all, so this morning I am going to, I'm making cherry, so a little bit more of a warmer breakfast this morning because it is 40, 44 degrees this morning, so I want to make sure she has a little bit more of a hearty breakfast as opposed to just some kind of cold cereal. Um, Halo does like eating cold cereal, but I just like for her to have a little bit more heartier breakfast. Keep her little body warm. So right now I'm just frying up the chorizo and I got onion in here and I just put a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper. That's pretty much all that I do. Like this. I'm gonna just finish letting this cook off and then I'm going to put some eggs in here. So we're gonna let that cook a little bit. I hope you all are doing great. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Whenever you see this video, whether it's night, day, evening, I hope you are doing great. So this is just like what I get up and do. Prepare my little one's breakfast. And all of you guys that stopped by and watch the videos, as always, thank you. Thank you for watching our videos. Get out. You and your choice. Out. Go. Okay, y'all, so while Halo's food is finished cooking, I am currently like going over her homework. Make sure my hands are not so greasy. Um, 
making sure she's making sure that she is doing it correctly they are working on expanded farm and addition so um pretty simple pretty easy and using place value in addition where it's like the bigger numbers three to four when it comes to adding so i do that um so i just need to check make sure she has it all done correctly and check on the taco So correct. correct. Okay. Okay, so this we have to do today. Um and then here uh this is where I start like making her sight words. So these this is her sight words for the week. Now she get, and so I just number it out for her and then she has to write it several different times. What are you looking at? And then on this side, I like to make, she has to memorize her multiplication. She has, t she knows them, but sometimes she just have to think about it, but I want her to be very fluent with it to where she just automatically know the answer. So I will go in and draw lines on here breakfast up for this morning like i said i made some chorizo and egg tacos she's just gonna have a mini apple and then she has her two vitamins don't know quite what she want to drink yet but we'll figure that out once she gets downstairs i put a little napkin under here because chorizo can be yet a bit greasy so and grease get all over the place but if you eat chorizo you will very well know that i might put a side of sour cream if she wants that not quite sure but that is her breakfast for this morning Yeah, to mark it so there's this like chart paper. Mm -hmm. So if it, if I was like at uh, um sixty nine, mm -hmm. um if I was at like sixty, mm -hmm. I would put sixty. Okay. If it was the next day, if I got a higher one, I, I got to like one hundred, mm -hmm. I would mark one hundred. So how are you feeling? You're doing that? Good. And you can improve and do better, huh? Yeah, but I'm just mixed up with the words. Yeah, well, how do you feel you can do that? Like, what do you mean? How do you feel like you can improve? I'm, for me to know the words, uh -huh. that's it. 
okay. And I hear everybody else like this, so. I hear like some kids are like speeding up there like this. Like, so one day, they're like, nah, 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 nah. Oh, And then there was a dog who said who was sleeping, and then he was still up all alone. No, 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 no. Okay, you gonna eat the hot taco? Yeah. You really like it? Yeah. I have Wednesday bread hair. I'm gonna have Wednesday hair. Yeah, today is Wednesday. You got Wednesday hair. Uh, what about Thursday? I don't know about what's gonna be Thursday. Same thing, probably. Uh, yay! I had to see through it for I can make my hair go longer. Yeah. Is that true? What? Well, if I have braids in my hair and I see through it, it's gonna make my hair longer. It's just a protective style where it's not um, being touched a lot. So yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yes, I need to put all every single day. I need to put braids on my hair. Mm. Next sleep day. And don't forget to drink your probiotic too, okay? Okay. I don't know why. How, do you have PE, right? No technology. No technology. So what is it? Technology, what else? PE? Yeah, art. Yeah. So it's in, in oh, order. Oh, so you got three? Yeah. Okay. So every single week, so I'm in technology. So next week I'm going to be in PE. And next week I'm going to be in art. I see. Okay. So it's like I'm going to be in for a whole month and then over and over again. Mm -hmm. You got all your stuff in your backpack for a spoon? This this time is a class picture only. Yeah, class picture. Okay. So the last time I was in my uniform. So this time it's a class picture. But that's last year, isn't it? No. No, that's this year, huh? No, 2022. A few months ago. So we gotta get picture, another picture for school, and then your picture for karate. So. I only pick. I only get my own pictures. Yeah, we're gonna. I know they said that they were free, but we're definitely gonna get some pictures of our own. And you did not clean your face. Yes. You have to get in there and get those eye boogers out. Okay, you ate all your breakfast except your apple. You need a napkin? Mm hmm. Today is Wednesday and this is what Halo is having for her lunch. I just want to say yesterday, y'all, I got the third degree. I was under pressure because Halo was upset with her lunch. <laughs> she did not request that. So she's like, uh, tomorrow I want something cooked. I was like, oh, okay, what do you want, Halo? Quesadillas. So as you guys seen me cooking quesadillas, so that's all wrapped up over here. She just have a few cucumbers over here with some... Um, dash seasoning um raspberries and kiwi sorry excuse me oh and for her dipping sauce she um wanted some sour cream for her quesadillas she has her capri sun and a gogurt squeeze and i believe this one is in cream orange cream i think that's like orange cream popsicle so that is it <laughs> for Miss Halo's lunch for today. Halo's breakfast for this morning. She's going to have cream of wheat with blueberries, um, syrup, and cinnamon sugar. She's also going to have a raisin bran toast with butter and then some milk on the side. So that is her breakfast for this morning. Today is Thursday and this is Halo's lunch for today. I put out of the Omi box, highly recommend this box if you'd like to pack warm lunches. So she's gonna be having a semi-warm lunch today, but first 
Here she's just gonna have like a fruit medley that has kiwi, raspberries, and mandarin oranges for her veggie intake. She's gonna have some cucumbers, nothing on them today. So we'll see how that go. Here she's just gonna have a side of barbecue sauce. And this is the Whataburger's honey barbecue sauce. I like how now they have like so most of our favorite um, condiments from different restaurants where we can purchase them for our kids or ourselves or whatever so that's what she's having she's also going to have a gogurt scream and i believe this one is in an orange pop i also got her a string cheese just for an extra side um and a capri sun for her drink and this is what she having for hours her warm lunch is these pilgrims chicken nuggets um, we eating up the last she's eating up the last of them so what I like to do is do the boiling water method if you haven't heard of it, just pour some boiling water into your thermos I like to pour it out just before you about to walk out the door it keeps the um, thermos nice and warm um, as well as her nuggets I also like to place a just a small piece of ziki paper towel inside here because that absorbs the wetness the moisture from having a heated thermos along with the food so the food, so that's what i like to do there but this is all what she is having for her lunch for thursday okay, good morning you guys someone requested for me to show them how to make the star cut kiwi it's really simple and easy to make so here i just like to get a little paring knife the smaller the better that way you can easily control it and what you're going to do and i hope you guys can see this is just make some triangles half cut triangles but you want to make sure you go all the way down enough through the kiwi at least the middle way through and keep going and connect them and go all the way around once again make sure you go all the way into the middle of the kiwi don't go don't go on the opposite this is the height of the kiwi because it will mess it up and you just keep going and gliding it through just as such and once you get to the end you connect it and pull it apart that is how you make the star cut kiwi shapes okay and this is miss halo's a breakfast for this morning at first I was gonna give her apple, but I forgot that a subscriber requested for me to show them how to cut the kiwi, so that's that. She has leftover mandarin oranges from me preparing her lunch, so I'm just gonna place this here. Don't worry about the hands, it's from the mandarin oranges. So she's just gonna have a side of mandarin oranges, kiwi, some sausage, and some French toast bites. Um, it's just regular French toast. I skilly fried it and cut them up. Um, to stretch them because we run in a little bit slight on the French toast. It does have cinnamon on it, but this is how my child likes it, so it's whatever for me. And she likes to have sprinkled sugar on top. Not too much. This is already salty. I mean, not salty, but sweet. So that is her breakfast for today. So good morning, y'all. This is Friday, so this is what Halo's having for her main course today is some fish sticks per her request. And so what I like to do is take a pop of foil, a napkin. So if you don't have a thermos, this is the best way you can do it. And just wrap it up and place it in the lunch box. So to help preserve the warmness, I like to put a napkin over on top as well. So for her main course, she's having fish sticks this morning. She have a lot of fish, okay. <laughs> um, here, her tartar sauce that she absolutely loved for me to make. For a sweet treat, some uh, gummies. She's gonna have some goldfish over here. Um, some mandarin oranges and some kiwi. And for her drink for today, she's just gonna have a Capri Sun. So that is it for her lunch Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed this week of breakfast and school lunch ideas. As always, if you did, please be sure to give us a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and share this video to someone that may not be subscribed to our channel and you feel like our videos will help them prepare lunch and breakfast ideas 
for their little ones. So you guys be safe until the next week. See you guys then. Bye.